1994, which is 25 years ago, Ducati redefined the superbike category by unveiling the 916. Designed by Massimo Tamburini, it's still one of the sexiest steeds ever created, and its sublime looks are backed up by exquisite dynamics. It won the hearts of Ducatisti, it won numerous superbike titles, and it won Bike of the Show at the 1994 Shepton Mallet Fate. It was, and still is, a winner. Join us for a journey through 25 years of superbikes from Bologna, where we decided to escape the wintry climes of England and head to the sunshine of Motorland Aragon, armed with a 916 and a 230 BHP Panigale V4 Speciale. It's a journey that started on a Brittany Ferries ferry. Hello and welcome to BOTV, where we're on the hunt for a Gary who's just won himself a brand new V4 Ducati Panigale in the weekly lifestyle competition for just 95p. Okay, so out the car, we found, I think, what Gary's house is, so let's give him a knock, see if he's around, shall we? Hello? What? Oh, hello. It's, All right. Uh, it's Gary? Yeah? Hello, it's a BOTV here, and you have won yourself a brand new Ducati V4 Panigale. Shut up! Oh my god! Will it fit in my Volvo? I, I don't know what a Volvo is. A Volvo? I, 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 I can't understand. Yeah, give me two minutes! Brilliant, brilliant. Okay. Uh, two minutes. Come on then, Gary. Right. Yes, let's uh, let's go and find out what you've watch out for the detritus. Let's go and find out what you've won. That's my pest bucket. Is it? Yeah. Wow. So, come and have a look, Gary. Your very own Ducati. Punigali. Shut up. It is a Punigali. Oh my god. What do you think of that gorgeous thing? It's got a power band on it. It's got every band on it. Rubber bands, power bands. Will it do a ton? It doesn't weigh a ton, no. Will it do a ton, though? I don't know. I don't know, probably. Don't break it, Gary. Gary! Don't forget, you can win your very own Ducati V4 Panigale in our BOTB weekly lifestyle competition for just 95p! Come on. <laughs> I'm not going back to fucking reception. You're next to your phone, aren't you? Yeah, I have, yeah. <laughs> That's oh, ruined it. For fuck's sake. <laughs> Submit, mate. Hola. Oh, nah. oh no, it's bonjour, isn't it? Technically bonjour. Yeah. Well, yeah. we might still be in English waters, so hello. Hello. Just having a little sup on a beer. Mm. <sighs> So we cross in style aboard the Brittany Ferries Normandy. Is that, is that what it's called? I think it's called the Normandy, yeah. 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 So we thought rather than going all the way down to the tunnel, across the tunnel, and then all the way back on ourselves, we're going down to Spain. That's what's still on here for five hours. And by the time, well, I said that was, by the time we fought around, it's 120, 130 quid for a van to come along. And yeah, it's, it's much of a muchness in price, but it's just, why, why, travel, in, why travel down the M25? And round the M23. Three, yeah. Brexit. <laughs> well, we've been here 10 minutes. 
and the Nine One Six doesn't start. <laughs> oh God, what a feature, guys! What a feature! Well, it's real world, isn't it? Uh, there's no, yeah, it's done. Yeah, sorry, I'll be back in a minute. Bye. Nine One Six and a V4 Speciale, and a very happy little bunny. I'm not that happy because this is actually my 916, and uh, before we've even done, turned a wheel, it's broken. <laughs> it's not broken, we don't know what's going, it's either the starter motor or two batteries are screwed. No, it's not a reg wreck for it, mate. Or a reg wreck. So, um, while we try and figure that out, we're going to go and do some laps. I've never been here. Last time I was here was about six years ago, so let's go and find our way around. Uh, I did 200 miles an hour on Tom Sykes' superbike. Did you? 202 miles an hour. Did you? Yeah, on, on the back straight. That's when the, the world superbikes used the whole track, so they used right. the massive long straight. The long bit. Yeah. Wow. 200 mile an hour club. Well, when that gets going, you know, it'll be pushing up there, won't it? <laughs> 78. That's my birth year. Oh, uh, this is a, a nice thing. So my class, because I'm over 40, I'm classed as a crazy old man. Speed factor nine. Motorland Aragon, and I tell you, I've never ridden around here before, and it's absolutely terrifying on this bike, which is 210 minimum at the rear wheel horsepower, and uh, yeah, it's quite a special experience. There is, there are so many blind corners oh, and things that you just like that you just forget about I'm gonna throw up stay down tuna stay down going for it son sorry It's so scary that bit. Oh. There's a fly inside my helmet. It's brutal. Fucking hell. <laughs> That's scary as fuck, isn't it? How quick is that? Oh. It's insane. Pretty much roll around in third, right <laughs> everywhere, can't you? But that's straight. I was going. Yeah. Whoa, whoa, I'm not straight ready for this. Easy bit. It is easy, but fuck, it feels fucking quick, doesn't it? And there's so many completely blind corners yeah. here. It's like, yeah, yeah. Where? There's no reference at all, is it? No, no, even the braking mark is useless. Like, where, where is it? Wow. She lives. Woohoo! <laughs> Dodgy solenoid. The start motor's gone, we think. Um, we just bump started it and she's fine. Yeah. 
Bunch is back in the box. Oh, yes. Oh, baby. Oh. Maybe it's going to be nice to test these Dymag wheels as well. I can't wait. I can't wait. Yay! We attended a Chrono Track Day at Motorland Aragon, run by our fine German friends at Rem Race Days. Three days of track action, punctuated by the odd fun race and even a two-hour endurance outing. The event itself showed other organisers how track days should be run. Slick, welcoming, friendly fun, but with the added element of competition and everyone gazing at the timing screens, hoping for a hot lap. We'll be back here. How's that, buddy? I'll tell you what, I mean, obviously I went out on the uh, Poonagali first. Yeah. And um, it is just so far. I, I think you agree, that's one of the fastest bikes I've ever ridden. It's ridiculous. It's, that exhaust, it's got to be 210 horsepower. Yeah. Uh, and it's, it feels like it's rampant. It's not just at the top end as well, isn't it? It's just, the, that's the, the, to be honest, it's not the top end that's impressive, it's the torque. Yeah. It's, it's in, like, you can roll around here in third yeah. easily. Yeah, easily. And, and actually, you want to be taking third because trying to short shift for some of the long ones yeah. is really difficult. But then, uh, jumping on that thing, what, that is the most fun I've had on a track in a long time. What a riot, honestly. The, um, yeah, brakes had a bit of a moment on the brakes. The brakes yeah. are a, a bit fadey, but, but the... In terms of the chassis, it's really good, isn't it? And there's nothing that will beat it. Like, the end of the start, the start goes straight. All the, that bit there, that first section, until we get to the, um, the back straight, yeah. nothing will beat that. It I was mean, amazing. Then, I, came, I, came, I came past, or I came up to you, and there was queues of riders yeah. until we got to the straight, and then yeah. they all went past you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, giggles. Giggles, mate. It was brilliant, and I mean, look, we don't have the standard wheels here to compare, but no. Jesus, like, it feels so good. Like mid corner, and, and these are on. We're on S22 road tyres with this bike as well. Don't forget, but it just feels so good, and and it puts a smile on your face. Yeah, it's brilliant. Well, it's day three, and uh, we thought we'd do a little roundup for you. Um, but due to the alcohol consumption of last night, we thought, well, it's definitely best not to ride today. Yeah, I mean, the 916 has got a fueling issue. Yeah. And so has the V4 in a way, because it just uses way too much. <laughs> it wouldn't even complete a race. All the races are today. And, um, and actually, here's, here's a good point. I mean, we were yesterday in the race that we were supposed to qualified for. We didn't really want to enter because of the risk. That's a £35,000 yeah. bike, which isn't ours. And then yesterday was a perfect example, because someone dropped oil and about 10 bikes went down. Yeah. And they're all V4 Panigale, like V4Rs yeah. and yeah. just like... And Max Biaggi's teammate, uh, who's still in hospital apparently. Oh really? Yeah. That must have been a bad. big one then. Yeah, yeah. So um, yeah, we sort of dodged a bullet there, I think. So, 25 years since that puppy was born. Yes. I've said it before and I'll say it again. That is one sexy mother trucker and I'll never get bored of looking at it no. never I could study it all day long no and it's nice because in a this is like the REM race days if you haven't been on one by the way they're amazing yeah you should definitely come on one but the 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 clientele the quality here is quite upmarket should we say yeah I mean there's some Swiss guys here with you know half a million pound trucks yeah you know, race race transport yeah. you know, with, with dogs on the back <laughs> But, but it's interesting because no one, and no one gives a shit really about the V4. No. Because there's about common three, as much. There's, there's probably the most common bike yeah. here. But everyone who sees that 916 is like, oh, lovely. Si, oh, si, si. It's nice. Yeah. yeah. Or ya, ya, ya. Oh, fuck. Fuck, no brake. Love. Right, cold tyres, cold engine, no brakes, no starter motor. So, things should be pretty good. Let's just be gentle on her. This is basically had to uh, bleed the brakes. We don't, I tried to find a new master cylinder in a shop to buy, but um, I don't have any. I didn't have any. Funny that. So, we'll see how this goes. Did quite a lot of air did come out. 
for an HB4 race, it is. First there was the 916, then came the bigger pistoned 996 in 1999. In 2002 we saw the 998, the final variation of the 916. And this was the first of the infamous Testa Stretta engines. And then in 2003, Ducati dropped the 999. Designed by Pierre Terblanche, it divided opinion on the look side of things despite taking hideous amounts of world and domestic superbike titles. It's now edging into modern classic territory. In 2007, Ducati resurrected the single-sided swing arm with the release of the 1098. 1098R, unveiled in 2008, was the first production bike to feature traction control. This led to the 1198 in 2009, a real torque monster that ripped your arms out of your shoulders. 2012 saw the release of the monocoque 1199 Panigale, the first Ducati to ditch belt-driven cams. It was, and still is, utterly unique to ride, almost like a scaffold pole with wheels at either end. The 1299 was slightly more conventional in feel, but still a rampant beast. Which leads us on to today, and the V4 Panigale. Ducati not only make beautiful bikes, they make them gloriously tricky to ride fast, which is part of the appeal, and the Speciale encapsulates that sadistic beauty. You know, yes, it's 25 years old, but my God, was it surprising around here. I'll tell you what, I mean, let's talk about the, the before we get into lap times and other stuff, a Apex speed wasn't far off at all. No. You know, on well, the in some form, it was identical. It, exactly. The, sl the slower corners... It was much better, yeah. It was better, and it was on par with the Panigale. The fa yeah, the faster corners, it sort of lacked a little bit, but that was only because of... Tyre, really. Tyre, really, yeah. yeah. If it had slicks on, I think you'd be right up there. Yeah. And, let's talk about now, 25 years, so... That bike was eight seconds slower. Eight seconds, which, okay, it sounds a lot, but... Eight seconds slower over 25 years, that is 0 0.3 seconds a year progression. Mm. It's not a lot, is it? It's nothing. Yeah, it's quite amazing to think, really. I mean, and what, what is it horsepower-wise? 90? 90, yeah. I mean, at the rear it, wheel, it, yeah. If that, and that's 210. Yeah. So it's over double the horsepower. 
and uh, and there's a massive long straight here, which that is well, we don't know what the speed it's getting to because the, the after one eight five the dash goes blank. It does, but <laughs> how we we do know that, don't we? Oh, we do actually. Yeah, yeah. We do. <laughs> so I did a GPS. Yeah, yeah. one hundred and seventy one miles an hour, wasn't it? Yeah, which sounds absolutely it sounds pathetic. Yeah, because it feels like you're doing two hundred and fifty. Mm. Uh, whereas the 916 is doing 137? 137. <laughs> I mean, at that speed, you feel like you can get off and walk, can you? Yeah. Is that and, and when you go under the start finish, yeah. the Pat V4 is doing 150, and the 916 is doing like 109. <laughs> so, so, so that just shows you how how amazingly competent it is in the corners. Yeah. Like that chassis, and don't forget that. That suspension has it ever been rebuilt? No. I doubt the shocks ever been sorted no. out. So you know, spend a bit of time on it. It would be a really nice bike. Obviously, we will mention the fact that it's, it's booted with the glorious carbon fibre die mags, the CA5s. Yeah. And that, you know, without a doubt, that's definitely made a difference, particularly to the older bikes because the original three-spoke wheels are like proper heavy. That feels so nice mid-corner, so nice, and it's just oh beautiful and it looks mega as well it does yeah i mean in, in uh, we'll show you some slow-mo now but in motion those wheels look even better yeah which is crazy to say because obviously you know yeah you don't really see them when, when they're sort no. of flying around but they look awesome yeah so should we talk a little bit about the dynamics of each bike yeah and how they are to ride because yeah. this is not a review this is not a test this no. is a, this is a nod to what ducati have done in the last 25 years yeah because it is incredible yeah and i think the first thing which you will probably be able to notice right away without even sitting on the bikes is they have not lost their touch for painting a good looking motorcycle no they, they haven't although i will say the speciali isn't my favorite color scheme no the course is is, yes. is right up there yeah. but anyway but, anyway but in terms of how that bike looks yeah. it is absolutely delicious yeah. let's stop with the panigale then i mean you know i've it's just, it's savage. There's nothing, yeah. there's, no, there's no word better to describe that bike than savage. Yeah, and let's just point out that this is the Speciali version. So this comes with the full titanium Akropovich system, yeah. which they claim is 230 at the crank. Yes. So we reckon it's probably about 210 at it's the rear. It's 210 at the rear wheel, it definitely. It is unbelievable. Rampant. Well, I've just bump started the bloody 916 after about 15 attempts and I'm bloody blowing. Which is brilliant when you've got this thing to ride. Right, let's try not to throw up my tuna sandwich. This thing is glaring. If there's an angrier bike, I've yet to meet it. It's like kicking a T-Rex in the balls and holding on for dear life. Oh, grip! We got grip, baby! Oh, God, I feel sick already. I had calzone for breakfast. Not the wisest choice.
absolutely blowing. Nothing, nothing wakes you up in the morning like a bloody Panigale with a full system on. Oh my god. You can go to a gym all day long, but nothing, nothing beats that for a workout. Come to Aragon. Oh, fucking sorry, Nigel. <laughs> When is fast too fast? Because that thing is off the charts. It needs, I mean, I was still yesterday and I got into a rhythm, riding around, doing laps, but you still, I st my brain still needed calibrating every time I went out. It yeah. is just, I think, regarding, uh, forgetting race bikes or, or turbos or anything like that, that is the most ridiculous, normally aspirated engine I've ever sampled. Yeah. Yeah, I'd agree with that. And it's coupled to a chassis which is so loose <laughs> and so wild that I think I mentioned it riding round if I could talk, get any words out, but th there's nothing that's going to give you that experience no. of all out no. insanity. Yes, there will probably be faster bikes. Oh, there'll definitely be faster bikes. Circuit, you know, yeah. lap to lap, but, but the enjoyment you get from that and the experience, it's like, it's like nothing else. Um, but talking of lap times, I mean, there was, you know, there's some quick boys here. There's some national races. Obviously, Max Biaggi was here. He didn't have a transponder, but, you know, to be less than two seconds off all these race bikes here. Yes, we had VO2 slicks. Yes, it was lovely. But to be less than two seconds off the fastest time here with all these quick lads here. I mean, and, I, and I they, didn't and expect it. And they've, yeah, and they've all got, they've had their chassis set up. They've got worked on their bike yeah. for... We're assuming, you know, we don't know exactly, but yeah. we would have assumed they would have set the bike up for themselves. We, we, we've set it up as a loose setting. That's Turn it up, feel, do this, feels do that. about right. Yeah. Still got number plates, mirrors, yeah. indicators. Which is the best bit. It's fucking yeah. brilliant. Yeah. It must be so annoying for everyone else. <laughs> <laughs> and as for that gorgeous yellow beast, I mean, as we said before, the, the apex speed is almost a identical to a bike that's 25 years newer and 30,000 pound more. Yeah, yeah, so, so that, that, I bought that 916 for 5,000 pounds. Yes, I've spent a little bit on it, but that was last year, five grand, bottom of the market, I think, yeah. for those. And what an amazing five grand. Yes, we've had some issues. Uh, <laughs> day one, the starter motor packed up, so we've been having to bump start it everywhere. The brakes gave out. Yeah, um, nearly dies. Nearly dies. Yeah. And now it's got, developed like a little fueling stutter. <laughs> However, forget about all of that, you know, hand on heart, the enjoyment of riding that bike round here. Oh yeah. Absolutely maximizing every, um, what? What's that? I don't know. Oh, it's that. I've popped off, I've popped off here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean. Um, uh, yeah, absolutely maximizing track limits. Whereas yeah. that, the, the V4 is so terrifying you've got to be properly on your game to maximise the track limit. I mean, th that is sadistically the most ridiculous bike ever built, I think, in terms of, in terms of a sports bike. I mean, how, how it makes you feel and what it does to you and how it scares you, how it sort yeah. of it put, it beats you into submission. Yeah. But like you said, I would rather ride the 916 around here, which is, cr is a crazy thing to say. It's, it's, it's insane. <laughs> but I've, I had so much fun on it. Yeah. And, and when you do catch up to someone and overtake them on a much nicer bike, it gives you such a good feeling as well. 30,000 pounds less than the other one. You wouldn't think it. I mean, I think we might have got a bit of a bargain on that bike anyway, yeah. but well, I don't know now, the fueling's all a bit weird, but just the manual experience of it, having to look after it and, that's the fucking thing. <laughs> Having, having to look after it and having to... Nurture. Yeah, yeah. use the clutch on upshifts because yeah. it sort of feels a bit like, oh, I don't want to be stressing the gearbox out too much. It all adds to a, an amazing experience. And actually, I didn't feel, it didn't feel too small. No. A bit, I think wider clip-ons would be very helpful. Yeah. Because the bars are literally as wide as... I don't find it a massive issue, but you're... You know, I'm really broad, I'm broad though, aren't mm. I? <laughs> right. Should we go home? Yeah. Yeah. So hang on. So there's so there's one more question. Okay. You've got one more session left at Aragon. What are you going to ride? The nine one six. I too would take the nine one six. Amazing. <laughs>